EA Sports. It's in the game. What does it take to win? Garrett Hartley could send the New Orleans Saints to their first Super Bowl. Teammates focused on the same goal. Fighting for the city they call home. There we go. It takes big risks that sometimes don't pay off. If they go for this, I am going to be absolutely stunned. This will be a decision they discuss for a long time. But when they do... Onside kick to start the second half. Really unbelievable decision by Sean Payton. Get that much closer to a championship. For your team, for your city, for your home. That's what the NFL is all about. With the game on the line, Vince Young looks, runs, throws. It's caught for a touchdown. And then it's taken away. Mitchell goes in for a touchdown. Stokely down the sideline. Did they catch him? Stokely. Wow. Hand to the face. The ball is out. The Arizona Cardinals win it. Sean Payton said, I will let you help me design this offense. I'd say it worked out pretty well for you. What does it take? Let's go, baby, let's go! He lets Real. it go. Sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth, the Super Bowl. Welcome to Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth. It's the biggest game in America, the Super Bowl, as the Tennessee Titans take on the Eagles.
Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on. and we'll bomb it to our wide receiver so he can make a big play on this deep corner round. Here's the throw. Caught and dropped immediately. It's important that we establish the run on first down. If we can grab a couple yards here, we'll be in great shape. Feeds it to the back. Hammered in the backfield. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Okay, take a five-step drop. Find your receiver on this crossing route. If there's space, fire it to him. Let him make something happen. He's got it. Michael Griffin was there for the stop. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. They hand it off. They get three yards on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Push for a big gain on this halfback dive. Watch out for that sideline speed. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Turn and fire it to your wideout. He'll be running a deep in route. He's searching for a receiver. Will Witherspoon was there to bring him down. Selleck catches it for a gain of five. shotgun so that'll give him time to get deep passes short right side they push him out of bounds and now they have first and goal They hand it off again. They can't bring him down, and he's in. 
The Eagles get into the end zone first. What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage and looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. Philadelphia is up a touchdown. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. Britt takes it at the 12. Gets to about the 24 before going down. All right, if they run, it's going to be right into our blitz. Their back is going to be looking for a hole. I want you to find it first and fill it with some hurt. Johnson gets a call. The time the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Handoff up the middle. We've played a quarter. The score, seven zip. Offensive line is going to have to account for him here. And he's gone. Next stop, Painter. The Titans take just three plays to go from their own 25, and they end up with a touchdown on the board. Ben Chong had several options on that play. Somehow ran right by it. Running with it, but he's got such great confidence in his arm and his receivers, he was able to make it happen. Hobbs gets it at the two. He makes it back to the 25. The Eagles look very strong that last offensive possession. They capped it off with a touchdown. Those are exactly the types of drives coaches love to see unless you're on the defensive side. Tremendous job getting the ball out of there and into the hands of a teammate. The rush was closing fast, but really like any good quarterback, sometimes you may take a hit, you're going to be under pressure. You just have to stand in and make the play. And he's tackled at the 45. Three yards there. That brings up second down. All right, let's burst through the line of scrimmage here, but keep a good grip on the football, or the defense might knock it loose. Let's go. Gives it up the gut. The stop was made by Cortland Finnegan. The Eagles seem to be unstoppable on the ground so far. They're ripping off big chunks of yardage at a time.
All right, we're going with play fake here. Hit your wide out on this deep in route before the DBs can make a play on the ball. Dumps it out right. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. We have an Eagles player who's hurt, but will get to the sideline under his own power. shotgun so find your running back on this angle route let's see what he can do once he catches the ball flips out short yeah really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that you know you get yourselves in position defensively you think you're in the right spot you're going to make a play and a guy makes a throw like that and you go hey that's a good throw They bring him down, but it's going to be first and goal for the Eagles. Sure to make an impact on the field are this game's top performers, presented by Gatorade. Take it right up the middle. If you hit a wall, jump over the top of it. He'll get it again. That's a gain of five. Second down. Okay, only a few yards to go. Run it right up the middle and see if we can get six right here. Let's go. Another run. I'm sure the defense is getting a little tired of seeing this guy celebrate after his touchdowns, but uh, if they don't stop him pretty soon, he's going to run out of touchdown dances. I wonder how many he has. Philadelphia up seven points. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. He makes it to the 23-yard line. All right, guys, listen up. We're sending some extra heat at the quarterback on this blitz. So let's hope we force a bad decision. And the guys that are dropping back in the zone. Short throw to the right. And the tackle was made by Hobbs. Chris Johnson is just so good at getting separation from defenders after he catches the football. All right, guys, the three men we have deep are our only protection if everyone else doesn't manage to sack the quarterback. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. All right, getting a sack on first down really puts them at a disadvantage. Look for them to go to the air to get some of those. He's loose and running strong. We aren't going to concede any yards over the middle here. If they try it, Bust their receiver right when the ball gets there and force the incompletion. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from it. He angles it out of bounds at the 34-yard line. We're 
to use the play action to give your wideout a chance to. Goes through his progression. He's brought down at the 42. The Eagles get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. Okay, on this one, your number one target is going to run a wheel route to your right. Now you're in the shotgun, so see what the DBs do. And if they lose track of your wideout, you get them the ball in a hurry for some easy yards. Looking for a man. He's dropped down at the 31. The Eagles are doing a pretty good job in the passing game. The receivers are finding some space in the secondary, and the ball is getting there on time. out streak. You're in shotgun, so let your wideout get deep, hit him in stride, see if we can't get six here. Still looking for an open man. The pass falls incomplete. Deshaun Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. He splits the uprights. That attempt didn't look like it had a chance. Yeah, he worked that one over the bar, didn't he? You could see the body language and the tilt. He was trying to squeeze it, <laughs> and it just made a good kick. Let's take a look at the drive summary, which is presented by Verizon. Britt from his own four. He makes it to the 23-yard line. And we've come to halftime here. The score is And he gets the ball at the five. He's brought down at the 18. All right, here we go. Our guy in the middle should protect us in case the receiver loses his man on the slant. Make sure we're ready to knock it down. Searching for an open man. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. It'll be a mistake if they try to go deep over the middle here, but there is going to be some room along the sidelines. They hand it off. Johnson goes down after a gain of two. All right, we got him right where we want him. Bring the heat and see if we can bring up fourth and long. 
Has a man to his right. Little flip. The Titans are continuing to find success throwing the ball. The pass protection is solid. And the defense with a very conservative approach playing off these receivers, allowing them to get open. Britt picks up about three with the catch. All right, if they run, it's going to be right into our blitz. Their back is going to be looking for a hole. I want you to find it first and fill it with some. Johnson gets another carry. Johnson gains around six yards on the run. down they may run it right at us but be ready if they bounce it to the outside or run play action short throw to the left yeah that's one if you study this team on tape you're going to see them go to that in the clutch and it worked again okay they like to run it on first down if we can stop them for a loss the next third down conversion won't be as easy for them Here's a handoff left side. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense is big men. They won the battle. He rolls out to the right. Justin Gage was his intended target. Deshaun Jackson will be the return man. And he calls for the fair catch. So let's see whose momentum means more. He fights forward to about the 26. Okay, a pitch to the running back here. So let's be patient. Then once you're around the edge, turn on the Jets. Pitch right. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Okay, your number one's going to drag across the middle, so give him time to get separation. Then deliver the ball where only he can get to it. Has a man short to his left. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 17-7. The Eagles have possession and control of the game as we get ready to begin the fourth. Signals for the fair catch. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. The middle of the field 
field is wide open for them. If they pass it short, do not let their receiver make it to the first down marker. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. The middle of the field is wide open for them. If they pass it short, do not let their receiver make it to the first down mark. Short throw to the right. He's tackled at the 30. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. try for the big play so don't bite on the play action Kenny Britt is just so good at getting separation from defenders after he catches the football we're committed to defending the pass here if they run it the secondary needs to hurry up and get to the ball carry Pitch right. He's brought down at the 25. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. Andy Reid throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing. There's a challenge on the They tackle him for a loss. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. Okay, I know we got them third and long, but don't get caught napping if they run the draw. Surveys the field. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. The kick is good. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. Okay, let's drop back. 
can sell the pass, then hand it to your halfback and let's see if he can find a hole. Cobb hands it off straight ahead. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Okay, let's drop back and sell the pass. Then hand it to your halfback and let's see if he can find a hole. Let's go. Right to the end. Right to the end. Gives it off. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. Okay, you're out of the shotgun here, so it'll give your wideout time to cut across the field. Lead him with a well-thrown ball, and he could make something big happen. Gets the pass off. Room to run along the sideline. Touchdown, Philly. Jeremy Macklin has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today. That last catch puts him over 100 yards. The PAT is up and good. We're nearing the two-minute warning in the fourth. The Eagles. 24, the Titans, 10. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. And he gets the ball at the five. He gets out to the 28-yard line. All right, here we go. Our guy in the middle should protect us in case they're... Tons of pressure. He's hit as he throws. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. We need our blitzer to hurry the quarterback here. If he has enough time, someone will break free of their man coverage. Short throw to the left. Hall was the intended receiver. Guys, this is a great time to send the blitz. If they get the pass off, don't let the receiver make it to the sticks. He gets off the throw. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. He takes a hard hit as he throws. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. He lets it go. Brings it in for a completion. This is a guy who is so good against the blitz. People try to come after him, but he has an ability inside that pocket to make a defender miss, sidestep somebody, buy a little time, and get that big completion. like that on first down. Look for them to take a shot deep on second and short. Flips it out short to his left. Oh, heck yeah. He's got it! Touchdown! And he adds the point after with just over a minute to go in regulation, the score is the Titans, 17, 
The Eagles, 24. Let's take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the NFL. The Titans will keep possession. And that was exactly what this team had to have. Now they're in prime position to take control here late in the game. Okay, if they want to win, they're going to have to take it all the way to our end zone. We aren't going to let that happen. Focus and come up with a big play. Good coverage downfield. Nice job on the line by the Eagles. He's searching for a receiver. Room to run along the sideline. Touchdown, Tennessee Titans. Point after is good. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game is everything we thought it'd be. This game is now tied at 24. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. Hobbs gets it at the two. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. deep out he needs to get rid of it he's wrestled down at the 30 well he didn't pick up the first down that time but you drop back you make a good throw like that now you're in position to try and pick up this first down he throws downfield yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. The offense calls a timeout. You're out of the shotgun, so let your wide receiver get down the field. Once he cuts the corner, zip the ball to him. Get ready. Passes short right side. He's brought down at the 43-yard line. so he can get free, then float him a perfect ball so he can take it in stride and make a play. Look out, heavy pressure on him. step drop will give your receiver plenty of time to find and this one will have to be decided in overtime as both teams remain deadlocked after four quarters So before we get started with our overtime action, let's catch you up on the changes the National Football League owners just recently passed in the offseason. Initially, I didn't want to see them change overtime because I thought what made overtime so exciting was 
that the game could end on any given play. You score a touchdown, the game's over. Well, they didn't change that part of it. All they said was that if the team that wins the coin toss goes down and kicks a field goal, we're going to give a possession to the other team. But if you go down and score a touchdown after winning the coin toss, the game's over. So in essence, they've kept the excitement but balance the power a little bit to give both teams a chance. The wide receiver is going to run a deep corner route. You're in the shotgun to give him time. If he's open, hit him, watch him run. He's going to throw it. He's tackled at the 31. Selleck makes his third catch of the game. All right, we're running this one right up the gut, so look for the biggest hole and run it right through there. Cobb with the give. Four-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. All right, we're running it right up the middle on this play. Hit the hole hard and fast. Make sure you keep a good, tight grip on that football. Inside handoff. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Okay, we're going to use the play action here to give your tight end a chance to get deep. And then you're going to hit him after his break on this deep corner route. The pass is away. Kevin Cobb has done an excellent job of leading the aerial attack in this one, racking up over 300 big ones through the air. Okay, nothing fancy here, just a halfback dive. Where we hammer it up the middle and see if the blocks get us to the end zone. The give to the tailback. He scampers in for a game-winning touchdown. Finally, Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl 45 champions. This team has fought so hard for so many years. Four championship games in four seasons resulted in only one Super Bowl appearance. Another Super Bowl loss closed their 1980 campaign. But none of that matters now as they've risen all the way to the top. And what this victory must mean to these passionate and vocal fans who have suffered so much doubt and frustration over the years but can now eagerly celebrate what can only be called a sensational run, a Lombardi Trophy triumph never to be forgotten. These players have played their entire lives for this moment, from backyard to high school to college, and finally the NFL, daydreaming about the chance to be at center stage after the final whistle to raise the Lombardi Trophy to call themselves Super Bowl champions. With history within reach, they made the plays that mattered most. The highlight reel is set. The plays that will go down in NFL history that brought this battle to its final conclusion. But while one team is covered in the confetti of triumph, the beauty of sport is that there can only be one champion. For the losing team, it's heartbreaking to give so much, to get so close, and to come up empty.
You simply can't quantify how much this victory means to these players, how much it means to this city, and how important it is to all these loyal fans that year in and year out give their passionate support. So many superstar players never made it to this pinnacle. For others, it defined their careers. But this win has created a bond between these players that can never be broken, and it will take them to places they could never go before.